This is BigCountryHomePage.com Sports with Dan Booth. Good evening, everyone. At some point in time, every young athlete dreams about going pro, and those who are fortunate enough to play the sport they love in college are making major steps towards making that dream a reality. The, this afternoon at the Abilene High Gymnasium, Layla Muskies signed her letter of intent to play softball at Cisco College. And she says it's not going to be easy leaving her teammates at Abilene High, but she's excited for the new journey her family, friends, and coaches helped her reach. I have a few friends from the school and Wiley that are going. I'm looking forward to play there and then hopefully go out further after my JUCO years and keep playing. I'm just excited. Like, I can't wait. I'm ready to work out this summer, ready to come back and play. Like, I'm really excited. A late season surge helped the Abilene High Lady Eagles make it all the way to the regional quarterfinals. Now for some high school baseball. The state ranked Albany Lions have made it to the Class 2A regional semifinals and according to the team, their best ball is still ahead of them. In the quarterfinals last weekend, the Lions swept the Holly Bearcats in two games and their pitching was the story of the series. Senior Cade Neve threw a one hitter in game one of the series and in game two in the top of the seventh with the game tied at two, the Lions scored four runs to seal the win. Head coach David Fairchild says his team has a chip on its shoulder heading into their showdown with New Deal. I like the way they uh, battled in that game two against Holly. Nobody got their heads down. We found a way to get our bats alive, and that's what we're going to have this weekend. We're facing a very good New Deal team, and uh, it's time to get everything all together. As a freshman, you come in, and that's what you look forward to, is you want to go play for a state championship, and we've been fortunate enough to uh, actually play in a state game sophomore year, but got knocked out after the first round, and we'd just love to go back and have another shot at it. Games 1 and 2 between Albany and New Deal are tomorrow starting at 2 o'clock in Snyder. The winner advances to the regional final to play the winner between Anson and Stinnett, Texas. Here are the other big country teams in action tomorrow. Wiley is going against Alito at 5. Jim Ned looks to stay unbeaten against Shallow Water at 7. Westbrook has to go through Nazareth at 6.30. And in softball, Stanford and Colorado City face off at 5 o'clock. At the college level, the ACU Wildcats are in the first round of the Southland Conference Tournament against the Lamar University Cardinals. The Wildcats won today's matchup 7-1 to advance to the second round, and ACU is playing again tomorrow at 4 o'clock against the four-seed Texas A&M Corpus Christi. This year, the Wildcats won the Southland Conference regular season title for the first time in school history, and in the process, some of the Wildcats were recognized by the conference. Bash Randall, Mitchell Dixon, and Colton Eager were all selected to the first team all Southland Conference team and Grayson Tatro made the second team and both Tommy Cruz and Brett Hammett made the all-conference third team. That's it for sports. Bob and Joni back to you.